Hi everyone, we are back with another exploit development video. So far I was covering stack buffer overflow scenarios and in this one I will be going through CEH stands for structured exception handling, exception handling uh, exploit method. Uh, I just chose an application with a very simple scenario. There are no bad characters. Uh, there are no complications that we need to go through. This is the most basic scenario to understand the CEH exploit. So let's get started. This app is easy CD DVD copy. I already put a, a shortcut in my desktop, as you can see. I fired PuTTY and PSFTP. The Kali box is already running in the background. This is Windows XPSB3, and this is the vulnerable app. So the vulnerability appears in this enter registration code or enter username area. If you put here 2000 um, length input, the application crashes. We fired Python here. We just created an input uh, with 2K length. As you can see, the application crashes. So the next thing I will do is I will go for pattern create from a display framework to create a unique pattern for 2K linked 2k linked and we are firing the app again uh we're running immunity in the background this time uh, i'm attaching the process it's already running in the background i'm going back to the app and writing this unique pattern in the username area i'm checking immunity again this time we will go view cea chain and as you can see before corrupt entry we are seeing the unique pattern here so we will be copying this the ceh handle ch handler and we will go back to pattern offset rb with minus q option we will look for this unique pattern which will give us 1000 now normally in a basic stack buffer overflow scenario we would say this is our offset but this is our offset plus nceh in this scenario so let's see how I'm creating the exploit and you'll understand what I mean in a second. So I'm creating a variable called junk and I'm creating it uh, as the offset that I found minus four. Like I mentioned before, the next four bytes will be for NCEH. For NCEH, we will write here a very, um, very basic short jump statement, EB06-9090, which is an ops address. Um, so this is a very well-known, like I said. But for the next one, for CEH uh, address, we need to find a pop-up return um, and one of the DLLs of this application. So in order to do that, I'm going to use a tool called Find Jump. Uh, it's an exe file. You can run it on Windows easily. And the next information I need to know is what's the path for this easy CD DVD uh, application. As you can see, it's under C program files. Um, and I'm looking if there are any DLLs. I'm already seeing one in here, which I will be using now. So the syntax will be find job exit, then the full path of the vulnerable um, apps DLL. I'm writing it in here and the DLL that I'm going to use is skinmagic.dll. Cool. And then I'm saying EDI. Um, and then uh, we will filter it a bit with a find string uh, for pop statement. And then another find string for filtering to not have any bad characters with 000. zero, zero. So we will exclude that. And as you can see, there are so many pop up return address return. So I will use one of these uh, in a little Indian format. If you're not familiar with little Indian format, I'm not gonna explain it in here, but just know that you are supposed to write these addresses that you found in a little Indian format in your exploit. Cool. Uh, after that, I'm always adding knob slot before I write my shell code. It always makes sense. Um, that's what I done in here. I just sent 20 of them and the shell code will be included in here. So I will write my basic uh, line of codes. We will open up file. We will write these that I've, I've defined in before. I will define a new variable called buffer and we'll add all these in the same order and we'll close the file. Well, let's define the variable here. Buffer will be junk plus NCH plus CH plus nopes plus shellcode. This is the basic order that you will see probably in most of the exploits that you're going to write in the future. Um, this is our exploit. We will run it. There is a TXT file that's been created. If you want to see the exploit again, I just 
use the cat comment for you to um, pause the video and see the export again. And there's a test.txt file created. I will be getting this file um, to my Windows box by using psfdpd. I will just use uh, their basic command get and uh, the file, uh, file pad and the file name test.txt. This should be in my desktop now. Let's see, yeah, here we go. So I will just copy this content and I will put it in the register area uh, for username um, field. Cool, I'm not saying okay yet. I'm just running immunity in the background to see what is going on. I'm attaching it, let's find it. Okay, let's run it. Let's go back to easy CD DVD again. Let's say OK and go back to immunity to see what's going on. Uh, we will see CA chain. As you can see, skin magic uh, address that we've, that, we wrote, that we've written for the CEH address that we found for pop up return address. So uh, I think we are. We are safe here. It's a very simple one. As you can see, I'm writing my IP address. Platform is Windows, uh, it's 32 bit. I just wrote the very well known bad characters. These are very common. By the way, it looks cool. And then I will create the shellcode and we'll paste this for the variable that I defined before for shellcode, which should give me um, a Rochelle. Okay, let's get the test.txt file. Uh, and start listening on the port 5555 as we defined already. Um, I'm going back to ECCD DVD. I don't have to listen with immunity debugger. I can just run this like that. Instead of crashing the application, it will give me a reverse shell. Here we go. That was it. Like I said, guys, this is the most basic scenario. There are much more complicated scenarios and don't worry, I will include them all. Um, it's just how you write an exploit for CEH with CEH methods. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, in the next weeks, I will continue creating more videos for CEH before we jump into egg hunting. Um, until then, stay tuned. Cheers, guys.